Hey, Dick Munch, get the fuck out of this room. Get away from the antenna. This motherfucker keeps resetting shit. Now, like I said, I'm going to ask your hot girlfriend upstairs one time if I had some fucking... If I wanted to take my life in my hands. Because she's reasonable. And then I'm going to sleep with her. <laughs> ask her to take care of that fucking dog. Stop jumping around me all day. You need to get a fucking job, hobo. That's what you really need to do, hobo master. You can't be living off bottles and cans and having your sister support you. Why would you put sweet pussy out to work and act like you own the place? Nobody cares what you want. I'm not your roommate. This ain't, <laughs> I pay 800 motherfucking dollars. So, hmm, the way I think about it is you, whoever's up there lounging. Um, this is the way I think about it. Me and your girlfriend or sister are paying your fucking rent. And you need to behave when, when Daddy Max laying around all day up in here. I don't want to hear no extraneous noise jumping around, bothering me in the shower when you don't even pay no bills now. I'll talk to the hot bitch when she gets back and I'll pop that fat ass with my hand and watch that shit jiggle and she'll be like, oh, and probably spit on me. But we're paying all the bills. We got the skills to pay the bills and you're, you're up there fucking acting all indignant like the shower, like you control that. I'll light your room on fire. You need to get the fuck out of our shit. What, you were with her for five years or something? Well, good. Now you can wrap it up. <laughs> I'm gonna be with her for the next five. I'm serious. I don't appreciate being fucked with all day. You hanging around, soaking up my every word, hanging out in the kitchen, right by here, right over there. This whole fucking room is all fucking limits to you. You've been hanging out in my fucking rooms, you little baby bitch. You insisted you have the back room for your fucking dog, the only, the only room that has heat now. And all the rooms that have heat, you insist upon having. Good. Stay in your fucking room and do not ever come into the middle room. And then you want to what? Climb in the shower with me? Motherfucker, no. I'm your dad and I demand some fucking respect. Dude, I would let my hands run all over your fucking hot bitch. She's out there working hard for the money like fucking the Pointer Sisters and shit. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. See, I'm going to have to have a talk with her. I'm going to be like, I need to take you for some coffee and sit down and rub your thighs as I tell you a story about, about the indignant shit that goes on here. And you're going to throw a baby fit about it. Chances are that's what you're good at. But water fact, you don't need to worry about the water. You're not paying a dime. I pay the, I pay the bills here. It's my room. And mommy, wherever she is, she's not working still, pays those fucking bills with that sweet ass and sweet face. Why you make a sweet bitch like that go to work? Wouldn't you? If you if, I, since you make it my business, now I have to have, since you're all in my business and uh, you claim you have jello and shit like that, I'm going to ask you some questions about your girl. How the fuck you going to make a pretty little fucking <laughs> PYT pretty young thing? Why you make her go out there and do the hard walk and, and bring home the bacon to you and shit? You can at least be a grateful motherfucker and keep totally fucking silent. You ought to be up there cleaning the joint for her. When she gets home, that shit should be powdered fresh with, with fucking uh, carpet shit. You, you should run the vacuum some, sweep up. Get, make dinner plans, shit like that. You can't, you can't just sit around and drink like that and become um. No, rest on your laurels. She's gonna leave your ass because you know why? Because you spend all your time with me. <laughs> She's like, I don't want a fuck, but I want a mom. Now big data is going, and I don't even want to pay her anymore. That's what she's saying, bro. You ought to get on some dinner for your girl and stop worrying about the man downstairs underneath you. For real though.